All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're doing a course showcase. Uh, this is Carolina Blues. This was suggested to me by Logan Anderson over on YouTube. So uh, appreciate the suggestion, Logan, and uh, for you being around the channel for a long time now. Uh, means a lot. I think it's the first time you've suggested a course to me. So we're going to give it a play. Uh, we're going to do blue tees. That's the only tee. Pin set four. Um, we're going to do medium wins, and there's a reason for that. Uh, default everything else except for green speeds, which we're going to move fast. Um, I want to focus this video a lot on the, the putting. So a few people have asked me lately about putting. Um, you know, they're struggling with speeds and, and all that stuff. So I'm going to try my very best to, um, to hit everything we can under one green speed in this video so it's a showcase but we're also we're going to be focusing mostly on the greens as we go hopefully we get some nasty ones and that's why i bumped them up to 155s because most people probably aren't playing 187s but 155s are speed that really hurt people i pulled it it's fine. I hope we actually get some good, like, mid-range putts today. I'm going to try my best to, um, you know, play well. But hopefully we get some longer putts like this one. So down a foot right off the bat. This is a perfect example. Downhill past the hole, right? So you got to read first, past the hole. The first thing I always look at, when I do this, too, I'm reading. I'm reading the green as it goes. So if I was, say the hole was way back here. I'm reading the green the whole way it's zooming to my cursor. Down a foot, this is nowhere near enough, right? This will blow all the way down to the bottom of the pin. Down a pin 155s, you have to be really careful. Um, some people will tell you to bring it back a box, maybe two boxes, whatever. I just bring it back till I feel comfortable. And I'm, I'm comfortable missing this putt short. All right, so if I miss this putt, Two inches short, I, I, I'm going to accept that early, you know? I'm going to trickle it down there. And we miss high. It's not short. And see how far this thing still rolls out. So we still missed that by nine feet low. And we dragged that back, you know, two boxes. So you got to be really careful. The other thing is trying to figure out where you want to miss, right? So... When you're looking at greens and stuff, you, you want to see the best spot to putt from. Obviously, the best spot to putt from is you got to get up on this tier. And then if you're anywhere like in this area, it's an uphill pretty straight putt. Obviously, we want to be right next to the pin right here. But that's the best miss. Like right here, hole high. Obviously, it's a small, it's a small miss area. Hard to get there. But I'm always looking at where I want to putt from before I ever even take my shot. That is not where I want to putt from. Probably won't have a putt, though, to be fair. You could chip this. I mean, you could putt this. I'm going to chip this because uh, my, my chipping last week was really bad. There we go. All right. We hit it hard. We made sure we, made sure we hit the pin. It does go in for us. One under through two. Par five. The course is really nice looking. I haven't even mentioned that yet. The course looks really good. It's really clean. Alright, nice. Right up the middle. Watch me hit the stake. Alright, I think we got just under 200. Yeah, that was a 200 yard stake. This is a beautiful hole. Get a screenshot of it. I love the, the wall. I love how the green goes out into the... Uh, the ocean or lake, whatever this ends up being, but makes it a really tricky shot, especially with this pin. Got to be really careful with this. Having said that, we are going to send at the pin. Oh, our tempo has been really bad the last two days. It's a little unfortunate. It's not unfortunate. It's unfortunate for myself that I can't hit a tempo. Ever since I played Eric in that match play, my tempo just absolutely went to shit after that. I have no real reason why. Anyway, down an inch. 
So look where this puts our cursor. This is too long. For me, this is too long. Some people might want to hit this and just say, hey, I'm going to hit the hole. That's fine. But if you miss the hole, this is turning all the way down here. That will probably miss down there. I don't want to miss down there. I'd rather miss, you know, in this box right around the hole. So I'm taking not much, two inches off. I'm going to stop it, you know, an inch or two short of the hole. It'll get my vibration started earlier. And then I read the putt. I read it from my feet to the hole. It's not going to break as much at the beginning as it does at the end. You put a good stroke on it and you make the putt. I am going to take driver here. And give myself a second shot. That's a little closer to the green. Just because I feel I feel pretty confident that I can hit that fairway. I mean, you could easily lay up there if you needed to. Oh, yeah. uh, swing play is horrendous. Left ourselves a nice putt. One inch uphill. I'm going to leave it. No break. Nice. Just tap it in there, you know? Easy. Nothing to talk about there. This one's clocking in at a par four. This one's looking pretty good. All right, we got about a buck fifty in here. I like how they put the um the yard markers in here. It's a nice touch. I like I already know the second the ball stops just about what I have for yardage without having to look at the uh the number. All right, good shot there. All right, seven feet to pin, no uphill. It's not super dangerous behind the hole. I'm going to leave the cursor right where it is, which is about an inch past the hole, which means we're going to have a good amount of pace when we get to the hole still. So you got to read your putt with the correct pace. All right, we'll put it in the high side. I don't have a system for reading left to right putts. I've just visualized how it's going to move. Uh, somebody else might be able to help you out more than I do there, but that's how I do it. It works for me. It's a good swing. It's a little long. I'll probably putt this one just because... Putting from the fringe, guys, same speed as the greens. The The fringe rolls the same speed as the greens. The fairway does not. So, And obviously the rough does not either. This one, though, probably going to be careful. Behind the hole, it starts to tail off. It's, a, it's slightly downhill from here, right? Because it's not reading from the fringe. It's definitely downhill. I'm going to bring this back a little and again, I'm going to be okay missing a little bit short if that's if that's what happens. A little less, maybe a little bit more than that. Step up there, give it the best shot you can and look it just dies in the hole there. Um even if I had missed that, that's stopping like maybe a foot long. It's not going anywhere. So we'll take that. Looks like this one should be in the I, I like this course. It's really clean. Reminds me of something I'd play like in like uh, in Myrtle Beach or something. Lovely green here. Love that. Using the bunkers to um surround it like that. Looks really good. Definitely a fan of this place. Get up there. Oh, we're a yard short. Okay, here's our third shot. All right, chipping. Uphill. I might just... Do I need to full spin this? I'm not sure that I do. Mm. 
Nope, I didn't. I didn't need any of it. Got a little nervous, though. All right, uphill and itch. Not dangerous past the hole. Leaving our cursor there. I want to putt this with pace. You're not going to break as much uphill. So you had three breaking lines, and I only played that, what, like two cups outside? It's going to have a lot more pace going up the hill. So you got to remember that. Not all putts break the same, right? So a line moving... You know, on a green slope uphill is not going to move the same as it does down. All right, looks like we got a fairway coming here. Yeah, I'm going to hit one of these stakes today. I keep running them right by it. All right, tricky green. You obviously we want to be putting from below the hole, right? So we do not want to be long here. All right, that's an acceptable long for me, right? So if I'm five feet and in and long, I'm okay with it. This one, however, I'm going to be aggressive with. So normally, right, you say, oh, I accept missing low. I'd maybe aim this like right here. But you have to play this break like over here. There's, the odds you miss that putt are pretty strong. I'm going to actually extend this out. Play this on the edge. So far, so good. And hit it. And as that... Make sure you put that in the middle of the cup. If you need to hit it a little harder, do that. You do not want to miss the cup there or you're dead. I pulled that. The wind's not strong enough to bring it back either. Light rough, that's okay. Hoping I fly this up over this hill, yeah, because I can get it to stop. Pretty good shot there. All right, uphill an inch. You can miss long, just not too long here. I'm actually going to opt to aim this basically at the hole. I know I'm going to overhit it, so if I miss the putt, this should roll out no more than like a foot past the hole. But, and it's yes. up right in the middle. It has good speed on it. Seven under. I mean, honestly, I didn't even realize I was playing well because I've been focused on, on the putting and all that. I'm going to try to clear this corner. I think I can do it, yeah. All right, beautiful shot. Should have a little flip wedge in here. All right, so this one, a little long is okay. The problem is... You have to manipulate down a pitch shot, which can sometimes be a little tricky. Pretty good shot on it. This this is gonna land and roll out a little bit. All right, that's a that's a pretty good shot. I could have used a touch more spin. Here we go, birdie pot. This is on a pretty gnarly slope, though. Even at 155, that's on a pretty, pretty hard hill. So up four, I can be aggressive with this. Uh, too, I get a little too aggressive with it. I don't even think, wow, okay. I was going to say, I didn't even think that was going to stay on that hill at 155. There's no way that pin holds up on 186s. So whoever made this course... Obviously not built for the super fast greens. That's okay. All right, we're going to try to take a little off of this. I didn't want to hit it 98, but it still might work out potentially. 100 would have been <laughs> so much better. All right, this is a tricky putt, right? So you're probably thinking, oh, no, you got a great uphill one foot uphill putt right and behind the hole it doesn't do that much you can be really aggressive here you're you're wrong you have to be really careful with this putt and the reason is because as we go here we're clearly moving right to left right you miss this with pace and this hill is going to take it like this hill will take this way down here before you if you're not careful i'm going to take just a touch off and when i say a touch i mean like Two inches, maybe. 
Not a ton, because we still need to get it up the hill. We still want to give ourselves a chance at making this. And we're going to aim high. I want to miss this pot high if we're going to miss it. All right? Because I don't want to go down the hill. We're going to aim high. That was maybe a little exaggerated, but we miss high. It stops there, and we're fine. Hey, Grenade. What's up, buddy? I know. I am I am a scrub. I'm 7 under through 11. Come on. Give me a break. Two thirty. Uh, this is a dangerous hole because you just really don't want to be super long, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal off this all the way for science. This is a science experiment. Okay, looking good. This may still go too long, especially depending on where it hits in the fairway. No, this is gonna be fine. We'll take it. Hey, data. That's good morning for me, but good evening for you. Hopefully, uh, I assume you're probably eating dinner around right now. Hope you're having a good day. I'm going to chip this thing up. We're going over potting for the people over on YouTube. All right. Chip, we're going to bring this back. See if we can't make one more today. I think I hit it too hard. Maybe not. Good pace. After that one, you are 8 p.m. Wow. Let's see if you can take advantage of this nice par five hole. Well, hope you had a good day. I should say then. One hundred two. Smooth sailing off the tee. This course is beautiful. Really well played. Okay, that the there's not a lot going on in the fairways, but the uh, the surroundings are beautiful. I love the way the whoever made it. They put so much detail into the, like the waterways and um, the houses and all that. Looks it looks really good. Uh, I think I missed this too far right. We're gonna hit this ridge. Yep. Although we do. All right, we're gonna sit up on the hill. Down six inches. It's a weird one because it goes down and back up. We're still going to be cautious with this, though. We're going to bring this back well, at least, you know, two feet. We're going to play a little bit more break because it's downhill. And then we're going to hit it. And the pace was perfect, but we missed the pot. It's a birdie, though. We'll take it. Nine under is your score. Getting a look at the... Couple holes left. That sounded good. Tempo has got under control after those first few holes. I will say that. A, I don't know, 200 yards or so from the pin. Par five. Excuse me, 200 left. I'm gonna play this. I want to be just left of it or right at it. All right, that is that is beautiful. Shouldn't have much to read here. It's dead straight. Hit it and walk to the next hole. We'll take our eagle. Eleven under. Four holes left. Seventy-eight. I don't think we really need to do anything crazy here. Just gonna play this. The driver just didn't make much sense. I can leave myself a hundred in. It's a tucked pin. What I'm gonna do is uh I'm actually gonna take a little off of this with this and hope the uh if I'm a little long it lands into that that hill. Solid looking approach here so far. Or we just do that. Just Again, we don't have to read a putt. And after that one, twelve under par. There we go. Sixteenth hole is upon us here. Let's see what happens. I'm twenty seven up fifteen, so we're gonna lose Five or twenty-two. I think I can make that up with this little bit of loft and de-loft. Beautiful swing. Holy shit! Can I ever? That thing was sent. 
safely on the ground. We just wanted to have a nice putt for everybody. You One inch is up. It's longer, though, so I'm actually going to bring this to the hole. Longer putt gives me a, more of an opportunity to hit it long. It may not be the same for everybody else, but for me, that is that is the case. We're going to play this like left edge. There's a couple left to right breakers, and then there's one right to left in the middle. Not like super worried about it, but Let's see what happens. I don't know that this is going to come back enough. All right, nice three footer to deal with. Pushed it off my line, and we missed by a mile anyway, so it'd be like that. One hundred four will clear the corner. It's gonna leave us a nice number in, probably like our one forty three club, maybe. Maybe like our one fifty eight club, maybe. That's what I meant to say. Ah, uh, we hit it slow because we're a wiener. We got afraid of the water. And this putt is way out there. Up a foot, 155s are gonna play pretty true. I'm gonna leave this just about where it is. I might bring this back just a little because if we're long, it will feed off. And let's see, did we get it there? No, we didn't, we left it in the heart. Hit the very front end of my vibration, which there means I didn't hit it quite hard enough. Teeing up now on the final hole of this course. Nice See, lofted. Shot. I don't want to reach these bunkers. Are we finally going to hit a stake? No. Missed it again, just barely. This could be... Sit. And that'll do. Grab Not a bad swing. All right, down two. We're going to go faster through this. Downhill past the hole. I'm going to bring this back. Like double. This one's on we're going to hit it. Line. And we're going to make it. Putt Good putt. These greens are pretty tame. 18. Oh, that was through 18. 13 under. All right, there you go. Pretty good round. The course is... The course is beautiful. I'd actually love to play this on its default with, like, very high wind to see what I could do on here. Because uh, it was set up for, like, 130. So, force our course. Carolina Blues, go give it a play. Let me know how you make out. And uh, appreciate you all hanging out with me. Have a good Memorial Day weekend to those of you on Twitch. Everyone on YouTube will probably see this the following week. But um, appreciate you all watching. We'll see you later.